Hi, this is David Donahue, and we are in Hacienda Heights taking a look at space number 290. This is a year 2000 Golden West, three bedroom, two bath, selling for 92500 Now this is a really big home. I believe it's 27 feet, 8 inches wide. Has a nice uh, covered carport, enough for several cars. I'd say almost four vehicles, and it's particularly long. Now, just taking a quick look around the outside of the home before we get in, go inside. Um, full length covered uh, awning here on the left uh, on the left hand side of the home is very unusual. Provides a lot of shade. Uh, today is particularly warm in Hacienda Heights as it is the uh, end of July. A lot of windows. Have a screened door here on the front entrance. And then moving inside, you really start to get a feel for just how big this particular home in uh, this home is. Again, three bedroom, two bath, wood burning fireplace. You have some very nice wood laminate. Just kind of turn around. That is the master bedroom entrance. We'll go in there in just a moment. I'm just taking a slow look around from the living room area where I'm standing. Looking into the dining room, that is a built-in hutch. You have a wet bar area sink right there. And some uh, shelving units that could stay or could be removed. Your discretion. Now coming into the dining room, you do have the wood laminate. Um, it's been carried throughout uh, the home. You can see it in the kitchen and into the utility room. I have several pictures of this home to really give it an idea of just how much cabinet space there is in this kitchen. It does have a dishwasher, garbage disposal, um, a ceramic sink, you have a hood vent, you have hookup for a gas range oven right there, and a place for the refrigerator and there's a water line there. This utility room, actually they uh, took the door off, the door would go right here so you'd be able to shut off or shut, you know, close the area where the um, forced uh, air furnace and the air conditioning coil is located behind that. You have your uh, dryer vent, gas hookup, and where your washer and dryer go there. You have overhead cabinets. And then you have a very nice feature, which is a deep sink here in the utility room. This door is open, that's uh, just where we were in the very beginning, looking at the carport. And if this is kind of nice, you do have a nice view across the street. Let's go take a look at some of the bedrooms. Alright, going back through the dining room, the built-in hutch, hallway, the guest bathroom. You have a one-piece fiberglass surround tub shower combination behind that curtain. Framed mirror. It does have an exhaust fan. This home is um, tape and texture or sheetrock throughout. Has dual pane windows. The vaulted ceiling. I'll call this bedroom number three. Even though it's very spacious, it's smaller of the of the bedrooms. So call that bedroom three. Bedroom number two has a couple more windows. It is definitely bigger, the closet, and to the back of the home where the master bedroom is. Master bedroom, two windows, in the wood laminate flooring, you have a really big walk-in closet. Now, if it were me, because of the height of the ceiling is at least, I'd say, eight feet, if not nine feet, I'd put in a, another or a second clothes rod to be able to hang some more clothes. But it's very spacious. I think the, strong, the really strong feature of this home is its master bathroom with his and her sinks or dual sinks, the framed mirrors, a nice light fixture, and this wonderful garden tub for soaking. This is really neat. 
A lot of natural light comes in here. You do have a, your independent step-in shower, you have a commode, and you do have some ceramic tile. So again, this is space number 290 in Hacienda Heights. The it's a Wildwood Mobile Country Club. It's a night, excuse me, a year 2000 Golden West three bedroom, two bath, 92,500. You can call me, David Donahue, at 619-251-9273. Thank you very much and have a fantastic day.